question says find the rank and nullity of the following matrix. So in the very first step, you're going to write this in reduced form. What are we going to do? We're going to multiply the first row by negative two and add it to the second. So just basically doing the algebra, negative two, negative four, negative two, zero, zero, add it to two, five, one, one, and zero, which is zero, one, negative one, one, and zero. So I'm going to write this way down here. One, two, one, zero, 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 one, negative one, one, and zero. And then I'm going to multiply the first row by negative three and add it to the third row. So here I have negative three, negative six, and negative two is zero, zero. Add it to the third row, which is three, seven, two, two, negative two. This becomes zero, one, negative one, two, and negative two. Mm -hmm. And finally, I'm going to multiply the first row by negative four and add it to the last row. Here I have negative four, negative eight, negative four, zero, zero, add it to four, nine, three, negative one, and four. It becomes zero, one, negative one, negative one, and four. I'm going to continue this process. I have a one, then I have another one. Multiply it by negative two and add it to the first row. Multiply it by negative one and add it to the rest of the row. So here, negative two becomes three, then negative two, and it stays zero. Multiply it by negative one and add it to the third row. So one plus negative one, zero negative one plus two, one, and it stays as negative two. Multiplying this guy by negative one and add it to the last row, this guy becomes zero, and this is just zero. This becomes negative two, and it stays at four. But take a look at these two elements. Here you have one and negative two, negative two and four. So if I multiply this guy by negative two, I get the exact same rule. So this guy is actually the multiple, and this becomes zero. Very good. So what else we can do? No. So what else do we have? It seems like we have three and then zero. All right. We have three non-zero rows. Non-zero rows. So the rank is three. Okay, so we found the rank. The rank is basically three. Now let us talk about the nullity. Remember the definition of nullity. I'm going to erase this. So we talked about the rank. The rank is done for nullity. First, remember the nullity. N of A is the set of all vectors such that AX is equal to zero. Okay, since we found a reduced form, we don't have to work with the original matrix. You can just basically work with this matrix. Here you have one, two, three, four rows and one, two, three, four, five columns. So you have AX equal to zero or this matrix. One zero 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 two one zero zero three negative one zero zero negative two one one and zero and then here we have you could just reduce this more and right you can multiply this guy by negative one and add it here and this guy becomes zero and this guy becomes two you can write this in more reduced form you can multiply this guy by two and add it to the First row, which this guy is zero, and this guy becomes negative four. All right, very good. So let's write down the whole thing. Three, one, zero, 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 two, one, zero, zero. So try to reduce it as much as you can. Sometimes it's 
easier to find the solutions using just the reduced form. Negative two I zero. And here, as we mentioned, you have a four by five matrix. So you're going to have five variables. So let us write it as X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. Five by one, and it must be equals to a four by one matrix, right? You're going to end up having four rows and one column, zero, 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 and zero. This is this zero representing here. Okay, let us begin. So you have x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 minus 4x5 equal to zero. From the second line, you have x2 minus x3 plus 2x5 equal to zero. From this guy, you have x4 minus 2x5 equal to zero, and that's it. So here you have three equations to work with. What we can do, we can just write x5 as a new parameter. So wherever we see x5, it is just t. So x4 becomes 2t, All right? And between these two, you can take x3 to be s. So here you have x3 is s. So basically, x2 is equal to s minus 2t. So now if you look at the first equation, you have x1 plus 2s minus 2t plus 3s minus 4t equal to 0. So you can write x1 plus 2s minus 4t plus 3s minus 4t equal to 0. So x1 must be equals to here you have 8t minus 5s. So basically, we can write the solution set as so nullity. Okay, let me write this part down here. For n of a is equal to the set of all x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. Such that so x1 is 8t minus 5s, x2 is s minus 2t, x3 is s, and x4 is 2t, and x5 is t. And s and t are both real values, real numbers. We could simplify this more so you can see the vectors as well. So let's just write this down as x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, which can be written as. So let us start with t. t multiplied by, here you have 8, negative 2, and this guy doesn't have any t, and this guy has 2 and 1, plus s times the following vector. You get negative 5, and you get a 1, you get another 1, you get a 0, and you get a 0. So you can basically say that, hey, the nullity is spanned by these two vectors. So the nullity is 2. We found the rank. Rank is 3, and the nullity is 2. 